How's it going everybody? This is going to be a quick video, just an update. I recorded a lot of um, putting the Simplify IBR battery rack in today on my off-grid system. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been following that on Instagram. That's a joke. Probably maybe a couple of you. But uh, I Instagrammed a lot of this. This was a big build. I had to do a bunch of custom work to the IBR3. I had to build a platform to adjust it. I put in a bunch of LED lights, which I don't have up running in today, but they're all inserted. I just got to run a DC feed to them. But uh, let me show you guys what we built and uh, kind of give you an overview of what we got going on. Okay, so uh, these are six Simplify of the 3.5 batteries. I have about 21 kilowatt hours. Um, this is the Outback IBR3 battery rack. This is really made for their 200 RE series batteries, uh, the front mount AGMs, or they have the new uh, PLC pure lead carbon battery coming out. But uh, I modified it. Uh, I wanted to make something uh, that was super simple for people to start installing these Simplify batteries after doing a couple of them. I realized that really the hardest part of these is really doing all the parallel cables. They do not, they don't want you really to do jumpers from battery to battery. That's really not what they think is the most efficient for these batteries per their guidelines. Uh, I haven't seen any changes in that. Um, their also new guideline is uh, 5.3 batteries I think per 8,000 watts. Um, I only have uh, 3600 per leg right here. Uh, I'm going to wind up adding probably, I'm going to rip these two VFXs off and probably wind up putting a quad stack of the, uh, the FXRs on here. I need more charging capacity, but um, also I centered the battery rack in the room because I'll have the Outback Skybox probably up there tomorrow so I can start playing with that thing more as a beta unit. But, you know, some of the really cool features that I got going into the Simplify IBR3 rack are um, each battery has a 80 amp breaker, even though it's max output at 60. Um, what works out perfect with the IBR is it has an onboard 175 amp breaker. So paralleling these two batteries into the breaker works out great. Um, it also has a combined bus bar over here that bridges off of the breaker. That also keeps all the batteries the same length, which is a big key factor. I did put a flex net in this. Uh, I did some crazy stuff. I still told you guys about it. I'll go over it better on my full video that I did with the build. But uh, the flex net's up and running. Um, let's see here if we go into shunts. Uh, it's working amazing, everything I did. Um, I'm having one little thing that I'm trying to work with, but I think I have a bad flex net. But you can see right here that, you know, everything's pulling within two tenths of a watt. So I think that's how what it would be, or 20 watts. Um, I don't know. So we're, we're doing good right now with what this thing's doing. So it's cool because over here I can see all three channels of my flex net with my simplify batteries and then if i go over to my main controller because i'm able to run two mates now for this system with what i got going on i can see my combined total that's going through it and in here then i can also go um, to my shunts and i can see my pv input and uh, i'll have let's see i got a bunch going on with renewable energy right now getting ready to add you know more and more all the time to facilitate doing all the uh the woodworking and metalworking that I do. So I got some neat maybe sponsors coming up on board soon too. So it'll be fun. But yeah, the IBR3 worked out amazing. I got all the simplifies in. One of the things I had to do is I had to build a kind of a custom wedge base because the floor slopes away and I wanted to bolt it to the wall. So it's, uh, it's nice having this extra space. It feels a lot cleaner. I'm excited to see how they work. And uh, there we go.